Really chilly start, but we're somewhat warming up today. Yeah, that's right. You know, temperatures will be seasonal for the day today. It'll be a bit breezy, so it'll feel cooler, but cold air comes in tomorrow, so enjoy it while you can. Cold air setting the stage as our next system arrives. Looks as though, once again, very weak system, but could have some impacts for the morning commute on Friday. Could lead to some slick spots, so we'll be tracking some snow changing to rain. But a potentially bigger storm still in the works for this weekend, and a lot of questions still unanswered as as the type of precipitation we're going to see, and it all depends on the track. And we're going to really begin to narrow it down later on tonight into tomorrow as pieces of that storm make their way into the U.S. So bear with us, but keep in mind we are watching for a potential bigger storm this weekend. Currently, though, you're waking up to those temperatures frosty in the teens and 20s. It's a cold start out there. We widen out the shot. You'll notice we've got mainly clear skies, but more clouds to the northwest. And this is an association with a reinforcing shot of cold air. A cold front will be pushing southeastward, keeping the clouds in play for the day today, although you'll see some breaks at times. We'll notice a few scattered snow showers to the northwest, but a lot of that moisture just doesn't hold as it makes it into our area this afternoon and evening. However, the winds, they will be gusty along that front, and that's what you'll notice. Can't rule out a stray shower or sprinkle out there, so keep that in mind, but most of us clearing out and, well, we're starting off our Thursday quite bright. Big difference in temperatures, though, too, because while today we get into the upper 30s and lower 40s, those gusts 25 to 35 or 30 miles per hour will make it feel like we're in the 20s. And tonight we actually fall back into the teens, and the wind's still active. It will feel like it's close to zero, if not the single digits. By tomorrow, we'll see highs only in the 20s with mostly sunny skies, but the winds will lighten up. So fast forward to tomorrow night, and we've got some light snow beginning to arrive. 7 o'clock during the morning commute. Scattered snow showers across the region. Best bet will be further north you go, but still could see some snow through parts of the Boston area. Rain down across the southeast. And by lunchtime, most of those showers on out of here. So it's quick. It's low impact. However, if you're traveling, it could be a bigger impact, especially north and west, where we could see a coating up to a couple of inches. Coating to rain in the Boston area, mainly rain to the south. We've only picked up a trace of snow this January, but that could all be changing this weekend. Time frame looks to be Saturday night into Sunday. Still watching for snow to rain to ice all depends on the exact track of that storm system, but it does look as though it will cause some messy conditions all across the northeast late Saturday into Sunday, and then much colder air will follow blustery conditions for the holiday on Monday.